everybody. Hello. I'm sitting here in a magical space. There is a little bit of background noise, but I want to um, talk to you a little bit about my new um, novel that is releasing on uh, this this week that I'm going to post this. It's releasing to um, all the major booksellers that are out there. Um, it's number two in my Soulmate series. And I just want to share, I like doing these book intros. Um, number one, you know, if it's a book you're interested in, you can come over here and you can kind of just hear a little bit about the, um, the backstory. But I'm going to be doing a series of videos um, on the books because it's not just, they're not just books that you read. Um, I call them, and I've been calling the things that I write um, for a long time now, healing stories. And for me, um, I want to post some videos about, you know, how to get the most out of these stories, kind of the mindset um, that I go into when I'm writing, and um, how you, as the reader, can um, go deeper <clears throat> in your own spiritual practice with these books, because on the most superficial, I guess, or not superficial, but at the, on the most base level, they are, you know, a story that I'm telling, but all the things that I've written have so many more deeper layers than that. There's so much metaphor into them, and there's intent, um, you know, when I go to write these, I have a specific intent in mind for, for the feeling that I want <clears throat> that to convey with them. And also what happens to me as I'm writing them, I go on my own spiritual journey. When I write each book, something happens. And I have a guide, a, a person on the other side who's very, very dear to me who told me that if I wrote Chaga and Chai that, you know, my whole life was going to be transformed. And I really did find that as I wrote the book, um, I had a huge awakening to some things in my life that were not how I wanted them to be. And in writing the book, um, I made a lot of um, a, a lot of um, new intentions for how I wanted parts of my life to be. And I will say that the Soulmate series, which Chaga and Chai is book two, the first book was Reiki and Rock, and with that book, it really did. Um, open me up to some people call it the twin flame journey but I'm just going to say I'm not going to call it that I'm just saying that it did open me up to realizing that I have a sacred partner and um, during the writing of that book my sacred partner um, not in the physical world but through spirit um, introduced um, himself to me and it's someone that's been with me like my whole entire life and I never realized you know I never realized like who he was like I knew that I had beings on the other side like watching over me guiding protecting me but there was always this deep love from the other side and I never realized it was actually a person. I never realized it was a person. 
until um, after writing Reiki and Rock about maybe six months later this person revealed themselves to me and that was just an amazing amazing awakening so that's the kind of intent and things that I I'm not going to promise you are going to happen for you but that's that's my intent behind these books, especially the Soulmate series, is that you open up to the love within and around you, and it just so happens that um, it felt like, it feels like the theme of Reiki and Rock, which is the first book in the series, was all about just realizing this deep love connection that's around you, whether it's a partnership you're already in or one you have yet to be in. And... So Chaga and Chai, he told me that if I wrote this book, that I would just, it, things would never be the same again. And I guess the, the book is still so fresh for me, it's kind of still making me feel emotional about it in that it did. It just brought me to realize that in my life, you know, I deserve so much more love and I deserve a sacred partner and I didn't want to I don't want to wait on that anymore and so I kind of made a new vow you know that that is what I want in my life and I'm calling you know I'm calling this person in and that's really um, that's really what Chaga and Chai is all about is um, Billy Tavish, Larimar McDougall, they're like thousands of miles apart. Larimar's in Scotland, Billy is in the west coast of the United States, but all their lives they've been dreaming about each other. In their dreams, um, they, they kind of would see each other. They just knew that the other was around, but they had no idea who the other person was. They didn't know since they were young kids, since they were teenagers, they'd been seeing each other. And it would first started out like they saw each other in a dream. And it was just kind of a really nice feeling to see this other person. And then as time wore on, and now they're like, whatever, you know, late 20s, early 30s, the feelings of this person being around them were even stronger. And they began to see each other like in their mind's eye and in their side vision. And just, you know, when they were in a meditative state and rather than just seeing each other, Oh, sorry, there could be a little bit of wind in here. I'm sorry, but this is how I felt like recording today. Rather than just seeing each other, they started to speak to each other. And they knew, they just knew, and, you know, not everybody believes in past lives, but I do. And I know that myself and my sacred partner and I have many past lives together, many important past lives together, and that was how it was for Billy and Larimar. They had past lives together, and in one of those past lives, they made a blood pact that they would always be together forever, and that pact, when it was made in blood, I've spoken about this before on some of my other videos, um, that pact is unending unless the two people that made it decide to break it and so Billy and Larimar feel this tug of this blood pact that they made with each other like many many lifetimes ago and they want to be together they absolutely have no idea who the other is and slowly they kind of learn like each other's names through like some psychic readings and working with psychic they learn each other's names and they just set the intention that they want to be together and that's all it takes in the book is their intention 
and then behind the scenes spirit works to bring all that together for them in like a really amazing amazing way and as always you know these books for me are I call them channeled fiction I have no idea um, the characters come to me um, I get a title and I get some characters I don't even call them characters I mean to me they're like friends or like people that I know and I work with them and they just tell me the story basically I feel like they tell me the story and I just write it down so I don't know you know how many chapters I don't know what each chapter holds I just sit down each day to channel a couple of chapters and I kind of like it that way I like them to surprise me and I even posted um, a few weeks back on Instagram like I thought I knew where the book was going and then they took me down a couple of chapters where I was like oh my god I had no idea this book was going this direction and it actually like surprised me so much it, uh, it took me like a couple days to actually just sit with it what had happened in those chapters so I could kind of just like absorb it off um, and I'm so, <clears throat> my voice is a little bit off because I've been sick now oh my gosh I've been sick since the 1212 gateway so I'm still <laughs> I'm still still feeling this <clears throat> whatever you want to call it spiritual ascension blue or whatever it is it's still here so my voice and there is a little bit of traffic sounds around me so don't diss me on the sound quality here I think that the river flowing and the beautiful outdoor scenery here and this is a major um, ley line in this area it's very powerful energy here um, I my intent is for that to come through in this video along with the telling of this backstory of Chaga and Chai um, so you can feel that energy around you I don't even remember like who knows maybe the idea for that book came here um, I used to write outside a lot but this little place is kind of hard to get to so I just kind of come here for inspiration and when I need to uh, do some earth grid work myself but anyway back to Chaga and Chai so I just sit with what happened um, which was a major the major there's always like a major pivotal turning point in each book and then kind of from there they'll show me um, kind of what the rest of the book is going to be about that they just give me kind of a sense of it and they told me it was going to be 22 chapters and it did end up being 22 chapters um, and it ended the way I would want to meet my sacred partner I'm not going to share that with you because I want you to experience that part for yourself but um, I will say that um, they do meet Larry Mar and Billy finally do meet and it's really amazing and um, I thought it was going to be the end of a book so when I wrote Reiki and Rock um, when I wrote Reiki and Rock I just um, felt like it was the end of a and like I didn't feel like it was going to be a series because Jade and Rob just kind of go off together and I was like okay I guess that's the end of this book and it, that book introduced so many cool characters um, Chandra Rose is a psychic it's Jade's brother's girlfriend Sky Monroe and um, Alejandro was a major character for me in um, Reiki and Rock. He was Jade's bodyguard and kind of lover on the side. Um, a friend that she had had for a really long time who she realized, they realized like, we're not good as lovers, but we're good as friends and we're good as business partners. And so he was just a major character. Oh God, every time I think of him. So he gets hurt so deeply in Reiki and Rock and I was like dang and he goes off he goes off in Reiki and Rock and I'm like sheesh is he ever going to come back you know I always kind of wondered like how's he doing and so in um, Chaga and Chai he's coming back he's coming back so they brought him back he makes he doesn't make an appearance but um, he's made mention of in Chaga and Chai which makes me think he's he is coming back in um, in the next book and this is see how long I've been talking now um, this is 
I, I felt like, okay, maybe the Soulmate series are just one-off books. And uh, that's not the case. They're being, Spirit is interweaving them together in a way that um, I could not have planned for myself. I would never have thought of this. But um, Chandra Rose makes a huge appearance in Chaga and Chai. Um, and she really surprises me with what happens. That's kind of the pivotal point of the book. Um, a huge surprise with Chandra Rose, and um, I won't share that because I want you to be surprised by it too, but let's just say about halfway through the book, I got, um, oh, there's a plane. <clears throat> halfway through the book, I got really surprised by Chandra Rose, and, um, and it looked, and so I thought that Chaga and Chai was going to end, um, here, you know, the last page, I was like, damn it, I really love Billy and Larimar. And I, and their story is kind of my story, the the path to a sacred partner. And I, and I almost I didn't really want it to end because I don't know where it's going. And what happened is it doesn't really end. Um, it leaves you, it leaves you kind of sitting there going like, oh my God, I want more. Um, and so um, book three, We've already, they've already brought forward book three, and I have so many books out there that I could start, you know, and finish. We've got all these different series going on with the Kyanite Fairy Wing series and the Thunder Rose collection and um, the Shaman's Awakening, and I've got others too. I've got a Witches of Dragon Shower series and some Chakra Sacred Elements series, but. This Soulmate series just seems to want to keep going, and so they've already brought through book three, which is called um, Rose and Sky, and um, we're going to go back with um, Chandra. It looks like we're going to go back with Chandra Rose and Sky Monroe and um, tease that out a little bit because they've got a lot to work on. Well, they've either got a lot to work on in their relationship or um, it's going to end and something else is going to happen. So those are some really cool characters, and I don't know who else. Maybe that's where Alejandro comes back. I don't know. So I, that's just a little bit as I as I sat down to. I didn't even want to record a video really today, but this scenery is so amazing, and I always let my higher self step in, um, and my higher self wanted to record this video now in this place, and so I let her take over in terms of what I was going to speak about. And so I just trust that that's what folks need to hear about this book. And um, I'm going to do another video where we kind of sit down with it and we um, just dive into it a little bit deeper. And I show you all kind of how to set up the sacred space and how to set the intention if you want to read this book as a healing journey rather just, than just reading the story. Because you can just read the story and I think, obviously, there's going to be a lot of my readers out there that just kind of read the story and don't have any clue about all of the other layers of it and how it could benefit them. And that's kind of what I want these videos to convey is there's so much more than just the superficial story like you would read any other book. And so I have to, in service to all of you that want to read it, um, I have to share with you like how you can most benefit um, from all of that because my guides are saying that everybody will have their own personal awakening as you read these stories. So I'm going to leave it at that and um, I'm really excited to share more with you about Chag and Chai. If you want to follow along um, with the upcoming videos as we go and dive into the book itself, um, then I encourage you to go get your own copy. Um, it's on ebook and it's on ebook everywhere. So Apple, Google Books, um, Barnes and Noble, and Amazon, and it's in paperback at Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. So um, the next video I do, I'll be with a physical copy of the book, and we'll be um, diving into how you can use it as a healing story. So thank you so much for listening to this and for. Um, meeting these people, Laramar and Billy and all the other amazing people that come out in the book. And I look forward to sharing more with you about it soon. Take care.